Hi, my name is McKenna. Welcome to Fab Lab Fundamentals. Today we're going to show you how to operate the bench drill press. Before we get started, you want to make sure you have all the safety gear on. So this includes your safety glasses or goggles and long pants. Um, if you have any loose articles of clothing, such as earrings or necklaces, make sure you, you take those off before operating. So let's get started. So first, um, knowing your drill size, you want to pick your bit. So today I'm gonna to be using 3 16 So you just take this from the set. And um, with your material, today I'm gonna to be using wood and your bit size. You wanna determine what RPM you're using for the, or to set the bench, uh, the Geo Press 2. And down here you could see how the pulley system would be for that specific RPM. So given that this is 3 16 um, which is less than 3 8 here, um, you would be using 3050 RPM and you'll have to set it to this setting. So in order to set that, you go to this head assembly here, take off the cover. So simply lift up and push back. And you want to set the pulley system according to that picture. And so since it's already set up to the 3050 setting, you can take this cover and put it back on. And then from there, you want to go to setting your bit into the chuck. So you grab your bit, make sure your chuck is all, all the way open, stick this vertically in, and then tighten, tighten the chuck by turning counterclockwise. And once you hit a point where you can't tighten anymore with your hand, take the chuck key and tighten the chuck till your bit is securely locked into the chuck so you can give it a little pull make sure it's all the way secured before we continue we have these guards for your safety while operating the drill press now back to the video next you grab your material um, since this is a smaller piece we'll be using both the vice grip and the clamps if you have a bigger piece use the clamps and so you want to place this in here lock it into place like so and then take the grip, put it on the table. And you want to make sure that the drill bit can one, hit the material, and then two, go all the way through the material. So you could see here, it goes all the way through in one full swing. So place your material onto the table. And then using the clamps, you want to lock this into place. Once your material is locked into place, your bit secured into the chuck, um, everything's out of the way for the feed handle to turn fully, and everyone in the room is wearing the appropriate safety gear, um, safety glasses, long pants, etc. You can finally turn on to operate the drill press. So in order to turn on, flip the power switch upward. You'll see the bit start to turn. From there, you want to use your right hand and slowly turn the feed handle to hit the material. And you want to use a method called peck drilling, which is drilling in smaller increments. This allows all the material to come up as you start to drill down. And as you get closer to the end, you want to lighten up. And once you feel that you hit all the way through, you want to go down and all the way out to clear out the hole. Once you're done, switch the switch downward to turn off. Then once the bit starts uh, stops moving, you can take the clamps off. And you can move your material off the table. And then from there, you wanna use the vacuum over here. Vacuum your area, clean up everything, make it super nice and clean. And then when the bit cools down, you wanna take this bit off using the chuck key and put it back into the set. And that's how you operate the bench drill press.